Okay, now we're going to look at each transmit. Okay, so the command tab in is actually e transmit. I think it's under here as well somewhere. I've seen the revolution. Um, I actually am not sure where it is on there. I've seen it around. Um, here you go. It's under publish e transmit. Okay, you can type it in if you want. All right, so if you click there. Over that. Let's uh, put the microphone on. <laughs> uh, so I was saying e transmit is there. So uh, we just have to click it or just type it in. Okay, so it's under publish e transmit. Okay, uh, generally it should be set up uh, okay as it is. Do you want to save your drawing before continuing? Yes, okay. All right, so there it is. All right, so um, it's coming up and it's telling me that it's finding some external references in here and one of them is called that slab which is correct there's only one in there if you add more there'll be more there all right there are different options uh, all we, all intensive purposes all we have to do is just add another file which is that dwfx thing whatever it is but uh, just so you can see the setup this is a setup called standard and you could have a number of setups you could have uh, one for each client for example or each project uh, so for transmitter setups, you go there, you create a new one, or you can modify the current one. Let's just modify the current one. All right, have a look what's in there. It's designed to go to a zip folder, or to a zip file. You can have it go to a folder, or a self-extracting executable, which you can't do much with as far as emailing goes. Uh, you can't email that. But a zip is generally what people want. And this is so big, you can put it in another folder, put it on a DVD, or something like that. So let's go with that. Um, in here you have okay the path that it's going to create the zip is there you can actually change it it's detecting where my file is generally where your project is is good enough um, I'll just put mine in the oh, hang on a minute um, so that's the path option sorry uh, this is where I'm, I've put my transmitter to go uh, into here this folder here my documents but what else is there you can make a prompt for a file name, but it's just going to go to that name if I don't. Now, use organized folder structure so that uh, here, uh, if I click that there, it'll go into wherever this is. Right, so it's whatever my structure is. There's an option in here to remove um, the path, basically. Okay, so infrastructure materials, data links, uh, where is that? Uh, keep all files in one folder. Um, that's not that it. One password. Here, here you can also, at the same time, you can also bind it. All right, so at the same time, you can bind it on the fly. So you don't have to worry about uh, binding it manually and then saving it. Um, and then you have the option of insert or bind here as well. Um, okay, so basically that's all set up as we want it, so that's good enough. Uh, what else is there? Okay, here you go. Here you can change the format as well. If your client hasn't got release 13, for example, you can give them a different format. Uh, uh, what else? So just basically looking around and just checking all these options. So I'll just cancel. I haven't really changed anything here. Uh, so that's it. So now I'll close this. And I'll add one more file, which is what you're required to do by your project here. All right. and, and you can enter additional notes for the package. You might want to send some information to, to, to the people. And then we can go add file and go to there. And that's the Andreas one I want to put in. Open. That adds it down there under other files. And we'll go OK. And off it goes to here. Oh, it's supposed to... Um, just do it, I thought. Okay, so I'll just save that. So it's just putting everything together. If I go to here, there is the new one that was done today, that file there, and there's the files that are in there. It has a TXT file, which I might be able to open, and just gives them some basic information of what's, what files have been excluded that may be required, and what files have been included, and where to put them. And that sort of thing. So that's what goes to your client, basically, uh, and that's the e transmit. Very quick, but it's a good way of making sure you picked up all the files. This is a very simple job, and you remember three files, not not too much of an issue. 
they want to become so big they've got lots so many experts in there and the images on top of that as well uh, and custom fonts and all that sort of stuff it's best to do it, transmit, make sure you get everything uh, the other thing is custom plot uh, styles all that sort of stuff will go in there uh, for your client or customer or whatever so that's, that's that uh, we'll just close that, minimize that and 